Ooh, okay. First of all, thank you so much for landing on this video. I sincerely hope it helps you. I have some amazing helplines linked below, some reading, some books, uh, a podcast episode that I found really, really helpful. So make sure you check out those links below if you are like really struggling at the moment. I'm not going to edit this bit because I want, I don't, I don't want to edit it. I just want this to be kind of natural. Um, so I'm going to talk about my experience with depression and mental health uh, just for a few minutes, just to put the practice into some context. However, if you're not here for that, that's cool. Like totally, I'll leave a timestamp somewhere where you can just skip to the practice and enjoy. So first of all, I should say that I'm kind of, I'm starting to come out of like a bad bout of depression at the moment. Making these videos makes me, helps me to feel better. And I hope that these videos help you feel better. So we've got this like mutually beneficial thing going on. So I really appreciate you spending time with me today. So I was first prescribed antidepressants in, it was either 2012 or 2013, um, the summer of one of those years. However, I know for a fact that throughout my teenage years, I had severe bouts of depression. And I think I've, I can even trace it back to primary school as well. So having very dark thoughts that I now know that is not really normal for a child to have. So it's something that I've dealt with for a very long period of time and I've managed to find some healthy and also not so healthy coping me mechanisms and ways to self-soothe. Self uh, yoga has been one of them, but I think it's very important to realise that not one thing is ever going to fix you or it's not going to be a foolproof way to feel better. I fell into that trap with yoga. I thought it was the one. And then when it stopped working or when it didn't work, that's really scary. So um, I think that I just put that out there that this is not in a way to like fix you or um, anything like that. I just hope that it might help someone. So depression for me um, sometimes feels like here we go again. Like, you know, when you feel it coming in, you're like, okay, we just need to brace ourselves now. And then other times, kind of like um, the time that I'm kind of coming out of now, it feels different. It feels quite um, insidious. It like seeps in and you're like, hang on, this feels way different and it doesn't feel like anything that I've ever felt before. And they're the more scary times, I find. So that's kind of my experience. Obviously, we, we're all completely different and some of this might resonate with you. Some of it might just be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so from a practice point of view, uh, because I feel uh, pressure and tension and just a t entanglement <laughs> in my head, it feels all up here, neck area as well, that I thought with this practice, we bring the energy down to like, physical touch, like our actual physical being. But with that being said, I know that sometimes with depression, it feels like it's physical pain down to like the core, like <laughs> to your bones, like it hurts to your bones. Um, for me, it almost feels like every cell is just exhausted. So with that being said, I thought um, we'd start very, very slow. And we just do some really nice stretching, just like really slow, just kind of feeling our body, like really getting into the body um, keeping it very simple. So it's not too much thought going on and hopefully build some confidence because we all know what we're doing, hopefully. And then I thought towards the end of the practice, maybe just very short, we'd uh, get flowing a bit more, get the blood pumping, get the heart beating, uh, because I know like, if my heart is beating, I'm still alive and I'm still here. Um, yeah, so that's where the practice is gonna be. So I really hope this helps you, but if that doesn't sound good to you, make sure you check out the links below. Um, yeah, so with that being said, let's come to child's pose. Okay, so coming down to child's pose, bringing the big toes together 
um, whatever variation of child's pose suits you today. So maybe the knees are wide, maybe you want to grab a pillow for your forehead, or use the hands as a little pillow. It's all good, whatever you want to do. And let's just give ourselves a moment to nestle into it. So maybe there's a little shimmy of the hips, maybe there's a little adjustment of the head before we get moving. Smooth breath in through your nose. Big soft sigh. <sighs> Lovely. And just take a moment to settle in here. Really feel the weight of your head supported by the hands or the mat. Letting go of whatever has brought you to this moment. And also letting go of anything that might come up for us. So if we need to cry, need to scream, laugh let it all out like it's all good and it's all completely normal so letting go of any expectation of this practice and of ourselves and just allowing yourself to rest your attention onto your breathing noticing the sound of your breath the temperature of the air entering and exiting the body. Taking a moment to loosen off any tension held, possibly through the face, the neck. And let's just give ourselves a little massage here. So rocking the forehead from side to side. Just giving ourselves a little bit of love. just notice how that feels so as you slightly move the head noticing how that feels across the forehead top of the eyebrows give those muscles a little break wonderful and then come into stillness for a moment stretching the hands out in front see if you can reach your fingertips as far away from yourself keeping the head down and just take a couple of breaths here. Notice how the energy transfers down into the side of the ribs, maybe the waist. Wonderful. And then as you inhale, come on forwards to an all fours position, tucking toes. We're going to take a little toe stretch. So just go to like whatever intensity feels good for you. So tucking those toes, walking the hands back. Hands can stay here if you want or hands up onto the thighs if you'd like a little bit more intensity. And then really feel into your feet. Take a little kind of rock from side to side. Feel your toes. So bringing that energy down from the head and just starting to really feel into our physical like being. You can keep the eyes closed totally if that works for you. Really nice. Good, and then bringing the hands out in front. Take a little roll out of your ankles, maybe a scrunch and spread out of those toes. Perfect. We're just gonna move in a way that feels good. So maybe it's a little cat cow for you, or maybe you just start to move your body in a way that feels right, or good at least. So maybe it's a little snake of the hips, maybe it's circles. Maybe you'd like to roll out through the neck, get the neck really involved. What do you need? See if you can like start to really listen and tune in with our physical body. So you can close your eyes here, completely let go of like what I'm doing, or even what yourself is doing, and just allow your body to take over. So our physical bodies are highly, highly intelligent, they're always looking after us, billions of cells working together to look after each and every one of us, like caring about us all day long. So see if we can start to tap into that. And it might just be really subtle and you might just wanna stay in child's pose and that is cool too. Like don't feel like you have to move or have to do anything. Everything is a suggestion. Lovely, really nice everyone. 
let's come back to an all fours position and we're gonna step our right foot on the outside of the right hand. Good, let's take a little flow here. So inhale, lift the chest, dropping the hips down. And as you exhale, maybe straightening up that leg, coming into a half split, maybe, maybe not. So inhale, coming forwards, chest up, exhale back, toes lift. Don't worry if you can't get that leg totally straight, it's all good, doesn't matter. Good, inhale, lifting the chest. And exhaling back. So often in the hips we have quite strong sensations, which personally I find quite helpful to really like bring the energy into the physical. Lovely, next time your foot plants in front, let's take the right hand onto the right thigh, right inner thigh, and then slightly pressing it out to the side. So almost like you're leaning back into it. You can come onto the outside edge of this foot if that feels right. Breathing here, so where do you feel that sensation? And can you send breath and love to that space? Lovely, and then releasing, bringing the hand back down, stepping that foot back where it was, and then stepping your left foot next to your left hand. And just take a moment to assess that. If that's too much, you can hold it here, you can always be up here. We'll all look different, and that is the beauty of this pose. So inhale, dropping the belly, leaning forwards, and as you exhale, lean it on back, lifting those toes if that feels right. Good, inhaling. And exhaling. So getting into hips and hamstring, which, yeah, as I say, is, gives you really strong sensations and we can use that as a tool to like bring us into our body. So get out of the head, into the physical body. That is always living in the present moment, it has to, to keep us alive. Notice if any tension starts to gather up through the face and the jaw, see if you can release that. Also letting go of any thoughts about the practice, like it's all good, we'll look different. It's perfect that we look different. Lovely, and then next time your left foot lands down, plant your right hand down, your left hand is gonna to come to your inner left thigh, come onto the outside edge of the left foot and then just slightly pushing that knee out to the side, just as much as feels like, ah, oh, that feels really good. So if it feels too strenuous and we're shaking and it's uh, not feeling good, back off and make it yours, make it, make it good for you. Wonderful. And then bringing that left hand back down, left knee back into space. Good, spread those fingers nice and wide, tucking the toes. Let's find a downward facing dog. You can keep the knees a little bent for this one. So sending the sit bones back and up and just start to pedal through the feet. Really let your head go. So no need to hold that head up. You don't need to look at the screen. There's, there's nothing to watch here. <laughs> just allow your head to be heavy your facial muscles to have a break. Lovely, so take a little pedal out of the feet or hold stillness if that works for you. If you need to be still and feel the sensation, that's where you need to be and it's all good. Wonderful. Perfect, let's walk the hands to the feet now. So bending into the knees, so padding the hands back towards the toes feet are about hip width, maybe a bit wider. Soften your knees so your belly is supported onto your thighs. Grab opposite elbows and just allow your head to be heavy. Take a little sway from side to side as if you were like cradling a baby and rocking it to sleep. Soft rocks from side to side, side to side. Wonderful, bringing the fingertips down to the mat, soften the knees, and then slowly, slowly begin to rebuild yourself. So scoop up the belly, slowly, slowly rebuilding ourselves. And then coming to standing, perfect. As you inhale, reach your hands high up overhead, lift out of your waist. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Two more like that, big breath in. Make yourself bigger, taller. 
Exhale, hands back to your heart. Lovely, one more, inhale. Scooping up that energy, reaching out of the waist. Exhale, hands to heart, perfect. Walk into the top edge of your mat, bring your big toes together, hands towards your heart. Close off the eyes and just start to feel into your feet. Notice how you distribute the weight in your feet. So maybe you hang into your toes, maybe you hang on to the outside edges of your feet. And just see if you can start to like balance that up. So maybe shifting the weight forwards and back and side to side and see if we can find even standing. So balancing on the soles of the feet evenly the shoulders to drop away from the ears. Wonderful. As you inhale, reach your prayer high overhead and look towards the thumbs. As you exhale, fold yourself in half. Hands down to the mat. Bend the knees if you want. Inhale, hands onto your knees and shins and lengthen. Scoop your belly in. Lovely. As you exhale, plant your hands. Step it back to a high plank. Take a little breath in your plank. And as you exhale, we're going to lower down to our tummy. So feel free to use the knees. You're totally allowed to. Come in all the way down. Untuck the toes. Taking the hands off the mat in line with your shoulders. And then come onto your fingertips, elbows pointing up. Big breath in to lift the chest. Exhale, dropping the right shoulder to the center of the mat and look behind you. Good. Inhale, coming up. Just as much as feels good, exhale, dropping that left shoulder, looking to the heels. Good, inhale, coming on up. Right shoulder. Inhale through middle. And left shoulder. Wonderful, inhale, lift it on up. And as you exhale, lower on down. Hands underneath the shoulders, big toes together, push it back to child's pose. So knees together, sit bones to heels, forehead to earth, breathe it here. Notice where your breath is pushed into in this shape. Wonderful, inhale, come on forwards to all fours. Tuck toes and then re-establish your downward facing dog. So we're going to move through a little bit more uh, of a fiery kind of sequence just to build a little bit of heat, get that blood moving and pumping, our heart beating so we can really feel it. Lovely. So bring your big toes together at the back of your mat in your downward dog. Inhale, float your right leg high. And as you exhale, bend the knee, let the foot drop over to the left so the right knee is pointing up towards the sky so how high can you get that knee and feel a nice stretch through the front of the thigh front of the hip good take a full breath in and as you exhale we're going to step our right foot in between our hands dropping that back knee untuck the toe inhale reach the hands high Exhale, cactus them out, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Open across the front of the heart. Lovely. Inhale, reaching the hands high. Palms to touch. As you exhale, hands to mat. Step it back to a high plank on your in-breath. So inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees all the way down. Empty, empty, empty out that breath. Lovely. Inhale, lifting the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together, strengthening the upper back. Lovely. As you exhale, let's find downward facing dog in our own way. Perfect. Big toes together. Let's do the same on the opposite side. So inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee. Just allow the kind of ankle to fall. And then point that left knee up towards the sky even more. Feel that opening across your quad, the front of the hip. Feel the shoulders working. Lovely. Full breath in. Exhale to slowly step your left foot in between your hands. Drop the back knee. Untuck the toe. Rise up on your in-breath when it arrives. And as you exhale, sinking the hips down, cactusing out the arms, proud and open chest. Wonderful. Inhale, floating the hands high, palms to touch. And as you exhale, bringing the hands down, stepping it back to a high plank on your in-breath. Nice work, everyone. Breathe in, high plank. 
Exhale, lower knees, lower all the way down with control. Inhale, lifting the heart, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, take it on back, downward facing dog. Nice, take a big breath in. And a big sigh. <sighs> Good. Bring your big toes together at the back of your mat. Bend the knees and look towards your hands. Now, you're going to land your feet on the outside edges of your hands. So you're going to be in a yogi squat. You're going to jump like a little frog. Or you can step if you want. Otherwise, bend your knees, look towards your thumbs, and then hop into your yogi squat. You can get there some other way. It's all good. So coming into your yogi squat, big toes pointing out. Hands can stay on the floor. You can sit on a pillow, like pop your bum on a pillow if you want, or hands together at heart center. Let's find a nice, proud and open chest. Looking down towards your fingers, you can even close your eyes and just notice the sensations going on in your hips and through that lower back as well. Lovely, notice if there's any unnecessary tension, particularly through the glutes. Wonderful, and then bring in the hands behind. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out. So you can have them quite close, you can have them quite far away. Doesn't really matter, totally up to you. Let's take a breath in, reach the hands high. And then as you exhale, taking a little twist to one side. So bring one hand across onto your knee or your thigh. Sit tall, breathe in. And then as you exhale, can you twist a little more? So ringing out through that middle back, Allow the breath to massage you. Wonderful, inhale, reaching the hands up and twisting over to the opposite side. So draw belly in, just go as far as feels good. Wonderful, inhale, reaching the hands up. And then as you exhale, forward fold. So maybe you get kind of here, maybe you get here, you can round the spine totally up to you. Like, it really, really is up to you as much intensity feels right for you. So you can rest your head down, maybe onto a pillow, maybe even onto your hands. And just allow yourself to curl into this very safe little ball. Coming back to the sound of the breath. And every time your mind starts to draw you away, maybe think about other things, come back to the breath, come back to the physical sensations of what we're actually feeling here, what our body is actually doing for us. Wonderful. As you inhale, come on up, lifting the head. Closing up the knees like a little book and then bring them a little bit closer. Give yourself a hug here. So wrapping your forearms around your shins. Give yourself a really big squeeze. Drop the head down. Wonderful. Lifting the head. You can either come to a lying position and take a shavasana. Um, I'll leave some guided ones down below if you want to just click on those. Or come to seated whatever is comfortable for you. So maybe it's cross-legged, maybe it's some other way. And then let's rest our hands onto our heart. Close off the eyes and feel that miracle that is the beat of your heart. See if you can bring your pinpoint focus onto that beat of your heart. That little spark of electricity and as you breathe in visualizing that light around your heart getting brighter bigger spreading further spreading out of your body into the space around you infinite space, infinite possibility. Now let's bring the hands 
into prayer at heart center, pushing the thumbs towards the heart, still feeling that heartbeat. Dropping the head down. Take this opportunity to really, really thank yourself for carving out this little bit of time and energy to acknowledge that you needed it today. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me today. I really hope that helped. If it did, please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see other practices like this. Also, like drop me a message. You don't have to do it like in the public comments. You can drop me an email or something. If you are really struggling, please, please, please check out those links below. There's some amazing resources there that, um, that have really helped me. So I hope they help some of you. Thank you so much and I will see you again soon.